Although the puzzles in Botany Manor are fantastically addicting and cozy, some of them can be a little tricky. So I created this Botany Manor guide to provide puzzle hints and even full solutions if you're really stumped. I absolutely do not want to spoil the game for you. So use the video chapters to jump to the plant that's perplexing you. Each of the 12 plant sections is divided into book clues and then a couple hints and finally, the solution, which is marked with a spoiler alert and has no narration that could accidentally spoil the game if you're just listening. Even with these hints and solutions, I still have omitted many details that you need to find and experience on your own. Let's begin. The first plant in your herbarium book is the windmill wart. This is going to be found in your conservatory where you begin the game. The best hint I can give you is that there are a couple things you need to interact with in this room. Now, the solution is coming. Only watch if you absolutely want to see how to solve this. The second flower is the Fulgaria. You are going to want to carefully study each of these places in order to solve this mystery. And here comes the solution. Plant number three is the ash plume, and here are the clues. One of the clues you will find mentions the seed can be difficult to germinate. There is something you need to do to it before it will bloom. Take a close look at this room. Spoiler alert, here comes the full solution. Chapter 3 begins with Pixie Tears. For this one, there are two clues in particular you are really going to want to scrutinize. My hint to you is that this will turn into a math problem. You're going to have to do a bit of adding. And then, here is the full solution.
The fifth flower is the wolf glove. Study the postcard and the coins very carefully. There is going to be something you need to do in this room and in this room. And take a careful look at this and this. And now the solution. Chapter 4 begins with a conundrum in the library, and this one stumped me for the longest time. I don't want to give it away, but I will tell you if you are stuck, look carefully at the text. That is my hint. The first flower in Chapter 4 is the Nightfall and you're going to have to solve the puzzle in the library in order to make this flower bloom. My hints to you are to study the picture of the flower fairy, as well as the moth poster and the moth spotting calendar. Now, the solution. Number seven is the Sapphire Gloom. Take a really good look at this book clue you are given and read it. And the solution. The Cradle Fern is plant number eight. Make sure you are taking a good look at the painting and the bells. And here's the solution. Number nine is the Brook Chalice. My best hints for this one are to make sure you are reading the text very, very carefully. And you might want to take an extra good look in this room in particular. And here comes the solution.
Chapter 5 opens up with our 10th plant, the Spring Dance Shrub. For this one, take an extra good look at the bird poster, the bird and the bird feeder, and this pamphlet on pots. Here's the solution. Plant number 11 is the Fool's Emerald. For this one, I'm only going to give you one clue because I think the biggest stumper for this puzzle is going to be where you are supposed to germinate the seed. So take a very, very good read of this book. You might have to read it several times, but it will give you a hint. And here's the solution. And number 12 is the Ocelet, which is the final flower, at least at the game's release. For this one, the best hint is going to be to carefully read everything about this board game, as it provides a very important clue. And now, the solution. And that's the end of the Botany Manor puzzle guide, at least until new puzzles are released. I hope you found this helpful. I tried really hard not to ruin the game for you, but to provide helpful clues and hints and solutions only to those really in need of them in order to progress in Botany Manor. If you like Sim and Survival games, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you want to be extra nice, drop a like or a comment below. Thanks for watching.